Two years ago, I was in a conversation with a certain cryptocurrency enthusiast like myself. She had invested well over $1,500 in a Bitcoin mining pool that promised a certain mouth-watering periodic return. Well, the pool shut down and she lost all her money. Of course, it wasn't a genuine pool. From all I have observed so far, the two most common lies Ponzi companies tell are 1. That they are a form of Bitcoin cloud mining platform or a platform that mines other cryptocurrencies. And two, they are a sort of trading firm that trades stocks or cryptocurrency. I myself invested $500 into one of such firms back in 2018. It was called Bitworld Center. And of course, it was a scam. And I was unfortunate to have invested just prior to when it crashed, so I lost the money. Both of these types of companies I have stated promise greater returns for higher investments. So when I saw Bitmine.io, which claimed to be a sort of Bitcoin cloud mining company that gave periodic payouts commensurate with the amount of money invested, it was reminiscent of the story the lady I described told me about. As of today, 31st August 2020, Bitmine.io website is down, but I would be analyzing the website anyways. But this time, with the aim of using it as a case study so that you will never have to fall into any such scams in future. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because this video may very well be the only video you need to watch in order to instinctively tell if a cloud mining website is legit or not. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome back future millionaires to yet another episode on our channel. I am so excited to have you guys back. If you are new here on this channel, we review businesses, websites and apps. We drop videos on how to make money online. And finally, we show in a few videos on investments and personal finance. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and tap that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be informed anytime we put out new videos. So with that out of the way, let us head straight into the video of today. So first, a little background information on Bitmine.io. Bitmine is adjudged to be one of the best Bitcoin mining companies based in London during the years it bloomed and it was supposedly a cloud mining company. At this point, take out a piece of paper, take out a barrel because I'm about to give you a mini lecture of what cloud mining is, albeit a really simplified and interesting one and here is why. The only reason someone would invest in Bitmine is if they knew little or nothing about cloud mining. So it's Kinda important for me to explain what cloud mining is. So here is my simplified explanation. There are people who have the equipment to mine Bitcoin. Let's call that equipment a miner, which is very expensive. And then there are people who have interests in mining Bitcoin but do not have the equipment. So cloud mining makes it possible for owners of miners to essentially rent out their miners to people who hope to mine Bitcoin but do not have the miners. Think of a cloud mining firm as a body that connects the two groups of people. This analogy isn't perfectly correct but it works. So on the cloud mining website, the owners of the miners and those who hope to mine Bitcoin come together and agree on a fair deal. You essentially rent their miners for a certain period of time. Only that the miners aren't shipped to you or anything of that nature. It is operated and maintained by the owners and the Bitcoin mine is sent to your Bitcoin address. That said, cloud mining is not very profitable. This information I'm giving you is verified and I will say it again, cloud mining is not very profitable. I don't mean that it is not profitable at all, but it is not very profitable. I went through the best cloud mining websites, best in quote anyway. Please keep in mind that a lot of cloud mining websites are scams and I would advise you always do proper research before investing into any one of them. The ones mentioned in this video are legit as far as I can tell, however, do not take my word for it. Of course, Remember that none of this is financial advice. I'm not in any way, shape or form trying to promote any of these four websites and this video is purely for informative and entertainment purposes only. That said, the four websites I managed to go through are NiceHash, Hashflare, Genesis Mining and MinerGate. And on average, for an investment of about $1,500 on a two-year contract, you make a profit of $500 after paying maintenance fees, assuming that the price of Bitcoin stays constant and assuming that mining difficulty doesn't increase. If the price of Bitcoin drops, however, you will make a significant loss. Cloud mining is a risky venture, to be honest. It is profitable, but it is much better to own your own hardware miner. If you guys would like us to make a video on how to mine Bitcoin on your own using your own devices, then get this video to 100 likes and if we do get 100 likes on this video we will make a video on how to mine bitcoin on your device in 2020 that said 
here is where the problem lies. On the Bitcoin website, for an account that costs 0.1 Bitcoin or approximately $1,000 at current Bitcoin price, the user stands to earn 0.0012 Bitcoins per day, meaning that an investor can break even in less than 90 days. But earlier in this video, I have already said that at Genesis Mining, Hashflare and the rest, you need close to 2 years on a really huge investment package to break even. So how do you reconcile the two? Out of the best cloud mining websites out there, you can only hope to make about $500 after two years of investing on a huge package. Now here comes another website, which is Bitmine, which promises you 100% ROI in less than three months. So clearly one of them is a scam and the other is not. So here's how Bitmine managed to last as long as it did. They usually paid new investors in order to incentivize them to try out more costly investment packages. Then for their older investors, they mandated them to upgrade to a higher package. A lot of users of Bitmine complained about an ultimatum given to them by the system to upgrade. Otherwise, they'll have to wait for upwards of 10 days to get their payments. Upwards of 10 days, not necessarily 10 days. You may get 10 days and you won't get the payments. So to avoid that, many of them decided to go ahead and upgrade and then for their oldest customers they simply did not pay them at all and that's why you find a lot of contradicting testimonies one group of people saying it doesn't pay and another group of people saying it does and perhaps another group of people that will be saying my withdrawal is pending for 10 days it's been pending for 20 days and stuff like that so if you investigate a little deeper you will see that the older accounts tend to complain about payment status showing pending internally while newer investors testify that payments come immediately so this creates a loophole. If you want to try out Ponzi schemes, then every once in a while open a new account and abandon your old account instead of upgrading on a single account. Of course, I do not endorse any form of Ponzi scheme and I do not take part in any of it myself, but if you want to try it out, then this could be a really useful strategy. Open a bunch of new accounts, keep on opening a bunch of new accounts, running new accounts because you will definitely be getting some money out of it. They usually focus on newer customers because they want to incentivize them to upgrade to higher packages. So I hope this part of this video brought you some insight as to how profitable cloud mining is and what kind of profits to expect at a constant price. Of course, if prices go up, then you can make even more money. With that out of the way, I'll go ahead and review Bitmine the regular way we used to do it on this channel. So, Bitmine.io review proper. Bitmine.io has been around for about 4 years now. Whois.com reported that it was registered in 2016. One of the disturbing red flags I found was on scamdog.com and scamadvisor.com and these websites rated Bitmine.io very, very low. The site has a very, very bad trust score. Even though Bitmine.io has a profound social media presence and has lasted up to 4 years, I found that users on the site have been having great difficulty in cashing out their bitcoins. Bitminer's most expensive account costs 5 bitcoin and a user can end that back in 5 days according to the system. That is absolutely insane. If a user earns 1 bitcoin per day, then it's clear that the user is going to earn 365 bitcoins per year. Assuming a bitcoin price of about $9,000, within 1 year, you would have earned 4.2 million dollars by investing in Bitminer. If something sounds too good to be true, trust me, it most likely is. 4 premium accounts were offered on the Bitminer website. The first account costs 0.01 Bitcoin and promises a return of 0.0012 Bitcoin per day. The second account costs 0.1 Bitcoin and promises a return of 0.015 Bitcoin per day. The third account costs 0.9 Bitcoin and promises a return of 0.15 Bitcoin per day. The most expensive account costs 5 Bitcoins and promises to give a return of 1 Bitcoin per day. That's is absolutely insane and it is a very huge red flag. Understand this, mining on your own is usually more profitable than cloud mining and yet even if you decided to buy your own GTX 1060 graphic card so that you can mine on your computer, after factoring electricity costs, it will still take upwards of one year to break even. Breaking even in five days on cloud mining is simply not obtainable. So from today moving forward, just run as fast as you can away from anyone promising you that kind of ridiculous profit. From all the signs you have seen in this Bitminer review, it is very clear that it is a scam. When you compare Bitminer with other cloud mining websites like Hashflare and Genesis Mining, you can clearly see why I have decided to label Bitminer a scam. On Hashflare, it takes upwards of a year to break even at a constant Bitcoin price. While on Bitminer, it's possible to break even in a week, five days. 
three months. And let me just say this. Another Bitcoin halving has happened. So Bitcoin mining difficulty has doubled. But this doesn't necessarily mean that it isn't profitable anymore. It is still profitable, just a little bit more difficult. By far and large, it is only very profitable to people that own really huge Bitcoin mining farms. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like, share it with your friends and family, leave us your thoughts in the comment section, and check out our Chimol review video which will pop up right now. On this channel so far, Chimol is the closest thing to legit so you might want to check the video out. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.